Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Frostpunk. Welcome back to the post-game of the last autumn, and it's a dire situation, not gonna lie. It is. Um, mostly because most of the resources we were typically getting, we're not gonna be getting any more, which is a problem, as we're all aware. Turn the heaters on. I don't want people getting sick. So part of the problem, for instance, is food, right? If we were to have a look at the food production tab, it's at zero, which is not great. We are still getting food from the hunting places, but not tons. So we are on a bit of a hard time limit at this point. Wait a minute. You're a mountain lake. Well, there's no point moving you. Well, yeah, no, I'm going to send them to the herd of reindeer. I will send these guys over to the herd of reindeer because if when this one runs out, they'd have to travel all the way down there to start harvesting it, which could waste valuable time. We could end up going hungry, and that would be bad. Um, so I've looked over things and stuff, and hey, a sawmill, yeah, we'll f keep harvesting the wood, may as well. We've got tons of people at the moment. What we need, more than anything else in the world right now, is not steel composites. In fact, well, fuck it, leave it on, whatever. What we need is steam exchanges. Desperately. Desperately, desperately. We're still researching the riser system, and that's coming along, and that's lovely. But, you know, it's not ideal. This situation is a bit iffy. So these things don't do anything anymore, so I suggest we dismantle them for the resources. That will at least give us some steel, so we can keep up uh, steam exchanger production, and that will help. That's very good. We've got three upgrades to get through. I imagine they require an extensive period of time to install, so that's going to be a whole thing. We'll get one more of those, because why not? Was that a lot? It's an event. Okay, power hungry. So with the cold upon us, people are getting worried about food shortage. There are complaints that the militia are abusing their authority to control the food rations distribution, putting themselves ahead of everyone else. Punish them, because motivation will fucking go right back up come morning. So I ain't worried. <laughs> We need as many of these as we physically can, because we're not even ready for the next tech level on this. Although, if we get two more... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! Come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go. So, we have enough for the next tech level. That's Book of Laws, that's different. No, I want tech. Tech. We'll have enough for the next one. But then we need, like, 15 more or so. So, it's not great. We're running out of space for people to actually um, be healed and whatnot, and that's a problem. But most of these people are going to be out soon, so yeah, they'll get in. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Obviously, this is not long-term sustainable. That's the whole point of this, is that we're not going to have enough food, and we're not going to have enough coal. We have plenty of coal, actually, because we still got that left over, and we do have a charcoal kiln putting stuff out. Food is going to be the biggest issue. We just need to work hard and fast. We need to live all conditions in homes, right? We need to work hard and fast enough to, um, you know, get done what we need to get done. These are livable? Okay. She needs to get that built, and then we'll have fulfilled that promise, and everything will be fine. Conditions are going to be rough, certainly. That goes without saying. We just need to get the work done, though. We, main we now need to- fuck, we need to maintain that. Oh, that's a problem, because I don't think these do enough. Oh, that could be a problem. So people are complaining about the quality of food. Fuck off. <laughs> are you kidding me? We can't afford that shit. But if they manage to complete the riser system quick enough, I'll see about upgrading the, bra the braziers so that we can maintain that. How much heat... Braziers uh, don't need efficient right now. 11 hours. We're currently at... F t if we wouldn't get it done in time. Because the temperature's going to go down tomorrow morning. Which means I'm going to fail that. Because I'm not allowed to build houses either. No, it's not a thing. Fuck it, I say just focus on getting that shit done. And then... Okay, right, we need the other thing as well. Generator... Wait, I only need to... Oh, that's... That's huge. That's way... Oh, that's way good. Oh, that's way good. Okay, I don't actually need to put them in myself, I don't think. I just need to research. All right, that's super easier then. Okay, all right. We have something to work with then. Fuck, good. 
Put self-sacrifice on. We need this shit done. We're getting plenty of steel now, thanks to the ship. We're going to pour it all into there. At this rate, it should only take a couple days to get this done. Yes. So, by all, by all intents and purposes, we should be just fine. Do you guys get there? Set up camp. We'll need the food. We should be just fine. We've, uh, uh, though it does say research here at the moment, I bet it's going to require me to implement them at some point. It wouldn't surprise me. But we can't plan for that right now because, I don't know, like, not a lot I can do about it. This can't get any more wood. Okay, good. Get rid of it. Whatever then. Goodbye. Running out of wood in a major way. <laughs> Ooh, there's like no trees left. There used to be tons and now there are none. Extended shift payments. Yeah, it's fine. Food will be okay. You need to be careful about that there wood yonder. Discontent's quite high. Are there any laws I can get that would lower discontent? That might be something worth looking into. That's just motivation. I don't know what ceremonial funerals does, but I can't get it anyway. That is also motivation, which I don't need. I do not need motivation. I need to lower discontent. That would cause more discontent. That's the point. If some of these things we're not using anymore, we can do that. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. We don't need those anymore, so fuck it. No gatherable. Okay, well, that's done now. We're going to have to cannibalize these buildings to make sure we're still getting materials. Luckily, that boat has a fuck ton of steel on it, so I think we'll be all right. In fact, I think it'd be a good investment, actually, to get another gathering post up over there. Really, as many as we can. We want to make sure we always have enough steel for more of these exchanges. This is all we need to make now. And if we can get that, we're good. I think we'll be just fine. Ignoring all the other extreme problems that this society has had, but uh, overall, it's fine. We've got plenty of workers, you know? Uh, yeah, just send some workers in to be an extra pair of hands, you know? It's cool, it's cool. People are getting sick, but they're also being treated. It's all working out. There's no gatherable resources in range. Okay, get rid of them then. It's just a bit of steel here, which they're still working on. There's still coal over here, which is... We're going to run out of that soon, and then it will be a problem, because the kiln will not keep us going for the rest of life. That cookhouse is quite cold. Doesn't need to be. And the temperature's about to go down soon anyway, so... Set one of those up there. Due to high efficiency, baby, I love it. Medical posts should be warmed. How is the coal situation? Ah, it's going down now. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, interesting. We don't need that much more time, though, I don't think. An execution of a public enemy. How many more are hiding? So the man executed today was none other than the chief engineer, the mild-mannered gentleman whose last words were an apology for stepping on the foot of, an e of the executioner, was found guilty of negligence that led to the explosion in the shaft a while back. Although his responsibility is far from direct, he was fiercely hated by workers and his death put them in high spirits. I see. A nice, mild-mannered man. I broke the pro- uh, ooh, 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 that was quite bad. Let's get motivation up. Show of force, now's the time. Yep, these things are necessary. Very necessary. There are gatherable resources in range. It's right there. Don't fucking... Okay, good. All right. No, no, but... Ooh! Oh, the game lies. Fine, whatever. I ain't even bothered, except I am. All right, look, this does... That's not even overtime. Oh, wait, no, it's the wrong one. This one doesn't actually need to be overtime. Let's let's make things nice and chill. These don't need to, these aren't overtime. Okay, well I'm running out of things I thought I could do to help with the situation. That's short shift. That's nothing. That's short shift. This needs to be longer shift because we need these. It's fine. We're nearly there. We just got to keep going. Just keep going. Everything's good. 
The food situation is getting a little desperate. Discontent raises global strike risk by two. We'd like to draw your attention to a high level of discontent among our people. The higher it is, the more workers talk about striking. Yeah, well, that could actually fuck us over. So let's have a quick look and see what we can do. Terror really is helping us out here. Minus one, so minus two, minus four, minus five. Terror by itself is actually fixing that for us. That's amazing. We don't need any more laws. We just need to get this shit done. And that's on its way. Oh, it's getting a little unstable. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. If we get one more of those, we'll be good to go. There we go. Now we just need to build them. Use those just to make sure no one gets hurt. Mild frostbite, really? Is it that cold over there? It's pretty warm in there, actually. I don't get it. One of people's gravely ill due to frostbite. God damn it, frostbite. Oh my god, why did I do that? No, no, no. Good lord. I didn't mean to put them in the fucking ship. All right, well, you know, problem resolved, I guess. And we've got enough steel, so we're fine. Problem is, all of this stuff is like higher, um... Uh, higher motivation, not lower dis uh, discontent. Crazed preacher, sir, a crowd is gathering by the generator around a tall, wiry man who's shouting, gesticulating wildly. We built this Tower of Babel against the God our Lord, and now his wrath is kindled against us. So he said this great frost to smite us. Repent, lay down your tools and pray. Most people are just gazing, but a few kneel next to him. Let him be. We need dis- we can't- we can't do anything to make discontent go up right now. Boy, do I wish we still had prostitutes. That would be very helpful. But we don't, so we're gonna have to make do. We're nearly there. Just keep it together, people. We are so close. I think the only use for wood right now is in a charcoal kiln, so build another one. That's now out of wood. Yeah, is there even anywhere else here we can get wood from? I think I've gotten all the fucking trees. The work day is over. Glory to the working class. Those trees count. Those trees count. Good enough. Get it done. Sir, so some people are quite concerned about the low temperatures. Yeah. Right, yeah. Maybe if I could just shut them up for a little while. I don't think that'd give us enough time. I think once that's done, we're going to have to look into those heating upgrades. Or this is going to get real problematic real quick. Of course, the temperature's going to go down again, so I don't even know if that's feasible. So, I don't know. It might be worth just trying to muscle ahead with what I'm currently doing. It's all going to come to a head soon, because we don't have enough food to maintain the place. We just don't. So, all we can try to do is just... ...attempts to power through and, and get this done. We're nearly there. It's going to be tight. It's going to be very tight. It's going to be extremely tight. But if we can do it, we'll be good. So let me just check something, actually. Are you guys, you guys, you guys, the herd of reindeer are sending food. There's actually nothing else out here that we can get food from, right? Yeah, so we are extremely limited now. We have to get this done soon. Someone died, yeah, because of the executions. We're nearly there. Very close. Workday work actually started a couple minutes ago, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, get to work. Yeah, get to work. We still need these finished. Fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Cocaine pills. Let's go. Cocaine pills are on. I want more efficiency. I want more efficiency. Because that's done, but we're not ready for the next phase yet. we still got five more of these to make. Get improved blowers. Might keep us going. We still need to finish building the steam exchanges anyway, so fuck it. It's fine, he said, knowing it's not fine. And that nothing's fine. I thought the uh, improved bridges would only do one level of heat, not two. So this is actually a big deal. 
Okay, we actually have enough steam exchangers now. Brilliant. All right, and then we got the improved heaters, which is very good. Get the overdrive. That'll probably be like two days before that's done. Let's be real. Um, did these automatically upgrade? No, they don't. Wait, upgraded by one? I thought I upgraded it by two. Oh no, did I fuck up? No, that was just to raise the temperature around any brazier by two levels. Yeah, no. Unless that's a typo, because here it says one. But I'm going to wait until right before that, that deadline. And then do it. So we can save Carl. We can scavenge... No, 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 no. You ever protest so hard that you accidentally start singing? I'll get us more wood, which will keep the charcoal kilns going. This is still a very bad situation, but the more coal we can produce from them, the slower that will go down. We're already at 4% on the uh, overdrive. Getting there. Please don't make me install them, I implore you. Please just say that they're already installed. Please. People are furious. So people are extremely discontented with the way you run things. They start preparations to a general strike. What should we do? <laughs> Lethal force. Fuck you. Yeah, how about that? There we go. That's better. We're very close now. We're very close. Just need a little bit more out of you guys. I know the food situation is bad. I'm aware. Let's save some coal. Let's just save some coal. People don't need to be in these. Save some coal. Did that help much? Not really, but it did do something. It's all down to the engineers now doing the research. Ironic, wouldn't you say? Okay, the heat's going to go way up after the 45th. We don't have the coal to last that long. We just don't. Another charcoal kiln. I'll start cannibalizing more buildings if I have to. Food quality. No. You don't understand. That's not feasible. We will die if I give- if I make normal meals. It's looking very dicey. I, I'll be completely honest with you, it's looking quite dicey. What's gonna run out first, food or coal? I'm actually gonna turn off cocaine pills because I don't think that helps. <laughs> I don't think that helps at all. <sighs> About a day's rations left. And we're almost there. Tomorrow will be the day. And that's the day when a lot of things will be decided, i.e. do we need to actually put in labor to install these things. Considering the amount of time we have left until the icebreakers come, I feel like the game is actually going to force me to do this. The moment that herd of reindeer runs out, we're fucked. Truly. Because there will be no more food. There is no more food. There is no other place food can come from by that point. Well, we don't need this resource depot anymore. I'll get some more, more wood. We don't need this forager's quarters anymore. More wood. So we can keep making coal. I wish I could use steel for something more productive right now, but I can't, so there's that. So today we executed one of your fiercest opponents, self-styled Tribune of the People, and initially an ardent supporter of your reforms. You grew critical over time, calling you a traitor and accusing you of manipulating workers into supporting the establishment. I did do that. He surely counted on rousing the gathered crowd against you with one of his famous speeches, but thankfully he broke his jaw in an accident. What a fool. Uh, uh, mm, it's not great. I did my best. I did. We don't need that one anymore, because we're never going to get a high amount of coal ever again. What now? Sir, 12 people did not show up for work this morning. Their co-workers went to check up on them, only to find them frozen in their beds. The cold took them in their sleep. I see. That's a lot of dead people. I'm working on it. Look. Look, these places aren't freezing anymore. They're just very fucking cold. And the temperature isn't going to go down again. So we finished all the upgrades. Our generator will now be able to protect much more people against much worse cold. Okay. Now I just have to wait for the rescue, which is in three days, which I don't think we can last. But we'll have to try. Yes, you're heating now. Very good. Yep. Nowhere is freezing now. 
People won't just die randomly. We're gonna have to start properly disassembling the the work site because there's like nothing. We need to, we need the coal. It's very important. Get people in there. At least as people die, right? There's <laughs> there's less people to feed, which helps the food situation. So that's good. Can't afford to get rid of that. We can get rid of this. This is useless now. It can't be. Okay, fine. I was a bit hesitant about that, actually, because I figured maybe um, the game might be like, Oh, another broadcast coming in. And I'm like, shit. So storage is currently at 3,600. If I was to get rid of that, it would be... Yeah, we got enough for that. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of that, too. Dismantle the whole fucking work site. I don't give a shit. The wood, re wood storage? Yeah, dismantle that, too. Food ration? Yeah, dismantle that as well. We need none of these. We just got, uh, well, research, maybe? Yes, burning less coal. Very useful. Okay, anything else we can get rid of? I'm going to need to have a proper look around. Shit, we don't need, we do need that. <laughs> They're dismantling that, as we speak. That can go. That's not helping anyone. It's got some wood in it. Medical post, we need it. Morgue. Eh, well, the people are going to die, so we'll probably need that. We do need the execution place. That's very important. Council Square? Yeah, probably. It's not giving me any more jobs in regards to the generator, so I'm thinking this stuff can be disassembled as well. I'm, I tell you what, <laughs> it's a bit shit, but I'm going to do a cheeky save. LP big cheat time. T, good enough. I'm going to make that save and then dismantle these, because then if the game's like, oh, actually, you do need to do more with it, then I'll be like, okay. I kind of assumed I didn't need to do anything more with it. Um, I can just go back. It'll be fine. We've got plenty of people to dismantle these buildings. It'll give us more wood, which gives us more coal, which allows us to last a little longer. No justice. Sir, the woman who was allegedly molested by a militiaman confronted him in the street and stabbed him with a knife. He died of his wounds shortly after because he didn't have any friends, not even among his co-workers. Good. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> Good. Glad he's dead. Kind of thought the decision I made at that time where I sided with her kind of led to justice happening, but I suppose it didn't, so I'm glad it has now happened, but I kind of wish he just hadn't fucking done that in the first place, which wouldn't have necessitated any of this. But some people are just born assholes. Suppose. We have so much to- you know what, we don't even need that anymore. Gotta cut them all, sir. Our store of wood is low. We need to step up logging. What logging? The area around the camp is abounds in trees. What trees do you see? I don't see any fucking trees. I apologize, sir, if you feel I'm getting a little testy with you, but there are no trees. None. Zilch. Not a tree. We're not allowed to touch these trees because they're technically not within our bounds. Hence why I'm dismantling virtually everything to make sure we have enough wood to give ourselves enough coal. Apparently, the coal situation ain't that bad, so that's good. We've got three days left, basically. There we go, that helps the coal situation. Yes, it does. Very nice. Now, is there anything that could help the food situation? Uh, yeah, actually, there was. It's too late now, but there was stuff that could have helped. I'm looking at it. I'm having a proper look, and I've determined that we don't need any of these things, so get these people out of here, because, well, they weren't actually using heaters anyway, but they definitely won't now. And, um, dismantle them, because we don't need them anymore. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. People are going to start starving soon. Yes, they are. Cold homes. Fuck off! <laughs> that might keep us going long enough. If I just say that, if I just say I'm going to do that, and obviously don't, although, 
Hey, hey, tell you what, actually. I'm noticing immediately that these are not enough. I'm noticing immediately that this is not enough. None of these have become livable as a result of this. So what am I actually supposed to do? You know, like... Two days, that's funny. That's precisely the amount of time we have. Everything will come to a head in two days. Do I have engineers? We should probably get more uh, medical facilities. Now, let's be real. Does this even matter anymore? No. If people die, it actually doesn't fucking matter, but it doesn't feel right to just do nothing. In fact, that was actually a bad idea because that costed wood. I didn't even think of that until it was too late. Is there anything else I can cannibalize? I feel like I've just cannibalized everything I could reasonably use. This has inhabitants. Yeah, it has the people with uh, prosthetics and that uh, uh, can't really kick them out into the snow. So what's coal storage looking like right now? We need to wait for that to go down so that we can cannibalize the depot. Food is not looking good. It's going to be another day before more food arrives. Soon they're going to run out of food there. I guarantee it. That is just going to happen. There's not a lot I can do now other than to just wait. Never, the, never would have thought if motivation doesn't even really matter by this point. We're not trying to do anything. Why would I heat the bathhouse? So strange. Got about a day's worth of coal left. We got two days until they arrive. These aren't doing anything because... Okay, right, well... Here's what we do. We dismantle some of the ones we've already built. Some coal's better than no coal. Right? 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 It's a good exchange rate, 7 wood for 21 coal, but... We just don't have enough wood. Ooh, that's a point. Housing. Vacant beds, 48. Okay. People are furious. Lethal force. It's not even a fucking decision anymore. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, comfortable. So, 1,350 would be taken off. How much coal do I have storage? Well, yeah, I need to wait a little while longer. Around 800 is the point at which I'm going to have to change that. Thirty-eight. I can afford to get rid of two more sets of tents. Don't worry, lads. Once the icebreaker comes, we'll all go anyway. So who cares? Just hold out till then. How long until the people's militia decides it doesn't want to fucking help me anymore? Though it doesn't matter if people are ill by this point because there's no real work that needs to be done and we've got plenty of people. Really, I should be trying to cull the masses just to make things easier. Uh, I don't want to look at it, but I'm guessing these deaths have done nothing to help the food situation. Nah, not really. We're right on the brink, running out of everything. People are getting sick. These tents are cold, despite my best efforts. Also, that tech... Act well, the tech technically didn't lie to me, right? Here's the thing. It technically did not lie to me. Allows us to raise the temperature around any brazier by two levels at the cost of doubling its coal use. Now, what it means by that is that it initially does one, and this would allow us to bring it up to two. But upon first reading that, you assume, oh my god, that raises it by two levels, meaning a total of three, which is extremely incorrect and not a good assumption to make. So, hey, if you play this scenario yourself, keep that in mind, because <laughs> it's not lying, okay? It's... it's you know, it's the Magic the Gathering Library of Runa thing where it's rules as written. You have to properly read it, not just assume. You can't assume. So it is on me, but I, I feel like, and you can disagree with me on this if you want, that's totally fair. I feel like it's an understandable mistake to make when you're reading it to assume it was one thing and it was actually something else. 
Especially when you're desperate, <laughs> you know, and you're like grasping at straws. Oh, we can get rid of this now. Brilliant. Get rid of that. We have, oh, well, yeah, that's going to kick off before that is done. Um, I'm thinking next time we get enough food, I should try show a force again. Yeah, it'll make the food situation worse, but it will keep me in power long enough for the icebreakers to come. So, there's that. I can't afford to spend any more wood on building medical posts. People are just going to have to fucking hurry up and get better. I don't think the agitators are necessary anymore. Get rid of that. Oh, there are multiple things we can do here, actually. Get rid of that. There's a bridge here there that we don't need anymore. Get rid of that. It's only steel, but it's also using coal, so... That only needs to be heat level one, I think. How is the coal situation? Uh, Bad. But it'll last. It'll last. Food quality. No! You people are fucking idiots. We don't even have any food. I don't think you understand. Show of force. Put the, <laughs> put the peasants back in their place. You'll eat your gruel if you even get it, and you'll like it. Because it's all you're going to get, because there's nothing else to give. Do you understand? Evidently not, because you keep bugging me about it. It's such an interesting situation right now where it's like, these people, the people here, you know, it's like, oh, they're all getting sick, and I'm like, so? I don't and this is the worst set, this is the worst thing in the world, and it really speaks to the game's, um, mentality, as it were, but... I don't know how to make this sound not terrible. I don't need them anymore. There's no work to be done. I don't need them to be well. I don't... It's not... It, it's not an outbreak where I'm like, Oh shit, I need to treat this or we won't get shit done. I've got 210 people in reserve and no work to do anyway. Who fucking cares? Missing lookout. Sir, if everything goes according to plan, the icebreaker should be here tomorrow. Not a moment too soon as everyone is desperate to leave this place. One of our people went out on the ice to look for the ship, but it's been for some time and he hasn't returned. His friends are worried something might have happened to him. Yeah, go look for him. Fuck it. There's nothing going on here anyway. We got the people. Promise broken. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. People are furious. Lethal force. <laughs> Lethal force. Boy, I'm not going to be popular, ever, <laughs> at this rate. I tried. I can't make the Braziers hotter. I did everything I could on that front. It's over. There's nothing more. There's also no food. I noticed that no one's getting on my case about that for some reason. They just want better food. About six hours worth of coal. That's not great, but there's not a lot I can do about it. Fate of the lookout. Sir, the search party returned to the dead of night, empty-handed and unnerved. They found shreds of the man's knapsack and clothes in the circle of trampled bloody snow and traces of dragging along a large set of paw prints. These are polar bear tracks, says an experienced explorer. These beasts normally keep far to north of here until winter. We must get out of here. The weather really is getting crazy. I see. Can, can we hunt them for food? That'd be nice. Turn that off. Bought us another four hours. Really, that should have been the first thing I turned off in retrospect, but hey, too late now. In fact, you know what? Dismantle it. And you know, uh, actually, you know what? Motivation isn't even an issue anymore, so dismantle that too. Fuck it. We're packing up and leaving. Unless we're not, in which case this will be really funny. Three hours. Just a little bit longer, lads. Two hours. Okay, well, it's not like the generator situation, you know, where when the coal goes, everything else goes. We'll be fine. Less than an hour, yeah. And everything turns off. Oh, boy. Come on, lads. Eight hours. Everywhere is really cold now. One of our people died. Yeah, because of the executions. Dismantle that one. 
Motivation and discontent are both at maximum and people are dying in mass. All right, yeah, because we don't have any coal to heat these up, so we can't. Oh, but the temperature's gonna go up soon, so everything's fine. Just give it a minute. Seriously, just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. Just... Just give it a minute. Just give it a minute. Trust me. Just give it a minute. I know we're out of coal. There's not a lot I can do about that. But like, just give it a minute. It'll get warm again. Well, it will get minus 20. That's not warm. It's just warm compared to where we're at now. The icebreakers are virtually here. I think that it's actually scheduled to arrive just as the heat goes up, which is fucking pointless, actually. Mild frostbite, yeah, no kidding. I'm curious to see the uh, the credits, quote unquote, the end panel, the end sequence of this one, because oh boy. There we go, temperature's going up, everyone's happy now, yay. Yeah, the tents are warm now, yay. We're out of coal, who cares? There we go. We did our best, our toil is over. Finally, I can't believe it. It is completed, truly a marvel. I waited so long for this day. Good Lord. Kindling of a flame, the huge generator, symbol of workers' victory, slowly disappears from view, dwarfed by the mountains towering over it. You have won against all odds and look defiantly into the uncertain future. Workers, inspired by the wonder they've built, burn with fervor, eager to carry the news to the homeland. They will never forget what you showed them, that the old social order is just a kindling for a flame. You have a feeling they will not watch idly the chaos engulfing the empire. The flame you kindled might spread far and wide. We did it. Completely ethically as well, yes. 100% ethically. This is going to be interesting. Watch it all build every bold endeavor. Watch it build up and then melt away towards the end. Demand sacrifice. So much sacrifice. And so... We did. Oh boy, did we sacrifice people. You have no idea. Well, you do. You just watched it, but... You have no idea. Executions. Selfless sacrifice. Abolition of privileges. Muzzling descent. Oh boy, did I muzzle it. Can one life... be worth more than another? Well, mine was. You know. I was very important. Liverpool needed a chance. Boy did it. Boy does it. I manipulated to give it. 49 dead workers. 23 dead engineers. Wait, that's it? That's it? Are you sure? I swear more people died than that. But... Watch it melt away. Yeah, it starts to melt away. Yeah. It melted away pretty quick. New Liverpool, support capacity, 800 citizens, chances of survival, acceptable. 800 citizens is quite a big generator site, though. You know, we've no I don't think we've ever had one that big. And it wasn't stable, either. There you go, I made the best goddamn generator I could. At significant human cost. So you can customize- oh, yeah! Because I asked some, like, not I asked someone, sorry. Someone commented on, I can't remember if it was the last video or the one before, and they were like, your motivation's through the roof. Like, have you playing this on easy? And I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, there isn't an easy mode, is there? It's just normal mode and then hardcore mode. I didn't realize you could customize it to quite this level. So normal, which is what we've been doing the whole time, would have been this set to medium. Yeah, so if I turn society's attitude down to easy, for instance, I'd probably necessitate or provide a higher level of motivation. I think it's just going for the uh, the labor path. I think the labor path just leans hard into raising motivation, especially when you get terror. But yeah, no, getting motivation high prior to that wasn't particularly difficult because, you know, you just build all of the houses around a chapel. There's other stuff you can invest in. I don't remember the entire process, but that part wasn't the hard part. We very nearly missed the deadline and just lost the entire scenario. Then we very nearly, um, 
lost due to discontent. I think if I hadn't implemented Terra, uh, I'm not sure if the game would have allowed me to... I'm not sure at what point you're allowed to just use lethal force instead of trying to negotiate with them. Probably, like, around the people's militia or something. But, yeah, that was close. And we did it. And the last one was on the, is on the edge. After this one, ladies and gentlemen, we will be done with Frostpunk 1. And just in time, apparently, because I hear Frostpunk 2 is... I think, like, pre-release copies are going out to people and stuff, like, you know, reviewers and whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I've just heard people talking about it more recently, so either there are developments or it's nearly out or something. I should really look into that, but... After the Great Storm has exposed an army warehouse, we are sent from New London to set up an outpost there. Times are changing. What will be our role in the coming Thor? So I've heard this is, like, post-new um, home. Which could be interesting. I'm looking forward to doing that. But that'll be next time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Last Autumn is fucking wild. Goddamn. Special thanks to Etherbin, Linky, Zeon Cedar, Bimble Ward, Tum King, Majoko, Mime, and Adash, Sanjeev, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, Lord Skullington, Jessica Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Lapa Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, The World, Warmaster Oku, SCP-106A, Nomad, and Kenny T800 for support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. Uh, uh, this was the whole thing. Uh, we, like, for some scenarios, I've been like, mm, well, you know, the moral, the ethics and morals were a little questionable. Like, you can make arguments for and against in some cases. This one was just fucked. There's just no, almost no two ways about it. Like, yes, you can do the, you can make the needs of the many versus the needs of the few argument and all that, or for the greater good argument, if you like, but this still got way out of hand and bad things happened a lot of bad things happened and i can't really condone most of what happened but hey i beat the scenario so fuck it that's all i care about and the only other thing i care about is thanking you so much for watching and whatever happens next time and probably a couple more videos as we deal with the final scenario i'm looking forward to it and i hope i see you there doodles goodbye